All right. Continuing on, uh, but going back a few lines. All violators, agents, actors under color of law, and actions under color of authority claimed by any corporations, associations, or subcontractors, agencies, or agents of any kind or like violating or attempting to violate the political status and title order of the grantee at any time past, present, or future shall be liable severely. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. But you know what? I do forgive, and there is forgiveness. And uh, so, past, present, and future, but we can work through it. The quicker you guys come into the light and repent and confess your sins and tell everyone what you've all been up, up to so that we can move forward, the better. Liable severely and jointly to this certificate as an affidavit of obligation in the normal commercial sense, and as such is a severity representing accounts receivable and is a lien upon the real and movable property, malpractice, insurance, and performance bonds of any such violators, and is not dischargeable in bankruptcy court or subject to any probate claim. At all times, the owner, holder, and due courses property is exempt from third-party levy, and all related vessels in commerce in and in trade are tax prepaid. Woo! Thank you, forefathers. Thank you for all the hard work you've done to establish this great republic. Thank you that I could be born into it as an inheritor of a great republic. That so many good people, after they kicked the kings out of here and kicked the re legions out of here and were able to have a surplus, they built an amazing, amazing uh, nation of states. And I'm so grateful to be an inheritor to that. And I also want to acknowledge that about 150 years ago after the Civil War, we took a major deviation, and it's time to correct the record. I'm correcting my record right now, and that corrects the record. It's you know We're all got to correct our own records because that is what will correct the record. And then you know we'll be in the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of uh, bliss, whatever you, know, you want to call it. The, the language falls apart, but the good place. You know? And we're all going to go there. You know? but, uh, and... Let's all move forward. This shall also serve as mandatory notice required under the Foreign Sovereign Immunities Act that the living source of creation that's in me, the owner, the, uh, the proprietor, the holder in due course, the indemnity is a foreign sovereign. I'm a foreign sovereign. Owed all rights, guarantees, and protections of the Constitution for the United States of America. And that united was uncapitalized because it's the unincorporated United States of America. And all assets owed to the priority creditors of the territorial United States and the municipal United States. This foreign sovereign, Kevin Christopher Raymond, retains all rights in reversion and is not subject to any conference of citizenship or other merely presumed benefit or obligation. Things are moving, baby. So we could say this is issued on... Uh, this isn't, you know, I'm going to go ahead and officially do this, but right now this is going on the record. It's uh, January 28th, 2021. Uh, yeah, and it's on, it's, yeah. So, moving right along. So here we got the acknowledgement of head administrator from home office, private banker, UCC 1-201,1-308. Care of Kevin Christopher Raymond, unincorporated, now we're going all caps. True and real trade name by my hand and seal. I take office without encumbrance and without debt or other obligation, fully exempt, indemnified, and without grant of any other power of attorney, doing business as Kevin Christopher Raymond and Raymond Kevin Christopher, and all derivatives including Kevin C. Raymond, K.C. Raymond, Kevin Raymond, and K. Raymond at care of uh, my address, where I live, where, I, where the domicile, the place where I inhabit. Um, and it's all in Mason County. That's all people need to know in the public. Uh, these provisions and copyrights are in effect from September 3rd, 1976 onward, and the name, and then the names, are revenued and permanently domiciled on the land and soil of the United States. Um, the United States, not a corporation, but capital T, the, and upon land and soil of Washington. Act of expatriation and oath of allegiance. Now, I don't really give oaths of allegiance, but 
I give good faith affirmations to the people's government. I definitely, well, I, yeah, I would give an oath of allegiance to the people's government. I, I surely do. Whereas Kevin Fitzpatrick is a naturalized citizen of the United States, under the diversity clause of the Constitution, constitutions, there's two, there's an S in there in parentheses, constitution, and is the age of majority, and whereas such citizenship was never desired nor intended nor willingly nor voluntarily entered into under conditions of full disclosure, Kevin Fitzpatrick willingly and purposefully renounces all citizenship all citizenship or other assumed political status related to the United States defined as the territories and district of Columbia, which parentheses 13 statute 223 comma 306 comma chapter CH well, CH period 173 comma SEC period 182 comma June 30th comma 1864 parentheses in parentheses and its government a corporation doing business variously as the United States, United States of America, Municipal Corporation of the District of Columbia, etc., formed under the Act of 1877, and does repatriate to the land of his birth known as Washington, and does freely affirm his allegiance to the same actual and organic state of the Union, and does accept and reclaim his true nationality as an American state national and as an American state vessel. In all international trade and commerce owned and operated by Raymond, comma, Kevin. Yep. I do valid, validate certified witness. All right. So this one does the same thing as that for Kevin C. Fitzpatrick. And then we got the Kevin Christopher Fitzpatrick. Yep. Same thing applies. Yep. We don't need to go through each and every one, but we'll send them all in to make you guys happy. Uh, now we got the Kevin Raymond Act of Expatriation and Oath of Allegiance to the Organic State of Washington. Act of Expatriation, Oath of Allegiance for Kevin C. Raymond. Okay. Oh, yes. And Kevin Christopher Raymond. Okay. And all derivatives, guys. Act of Expatriation and Oath of Allegiance. Yeah. All right. Mandatory notice, Foreign Sovereign Immunities Act. This mandatory notice, and mandatory notice is all caps in bold, is provided to all territorial United States. That's in bold, not cap, not all caps. District and state and county courts, their officers, comma, clerks, comma, bailiffs, comma, sheriffs, comma, deputies, comma, and employees, and bold, all municipal appointees, end bold, including their district, state, and county, county courts, their officers, and employees. The vessels doing business as Kevin Christopher Raymond and not limited to Kevin Christopher Fitzpatrick, including Kevin C. Fitzpatrick, K.C. Fitzpatrick, Kevin Fitzpatrick, K. Fitzpatrick, Kevin Christopher Fitzpatrick, Kevin C. Fitzpatrick, K.C. Fitzpatrick, Kevin Fitzpatrick, K. Fitzpatrick, Kevin Christopher Raymond, Kevin C. Raymond, K.C. Raymond, Kevin Raymond, K. Raymond, Kevin Christopher Raymond. You guys see how silly this is? Kevin C. Raymond, K.C. Raymond, Kevin Raymond, K. Raymond. This is the amount of semantic deceit and the amount of fraud we've dealt with for years. They've just created multiple identities for us, and we've been just playing right along with it. Oh, I wonder why they did my name like that this time. Never thinking about, like, the responsibility. Maybe we should have to protect our own name. Well, I'm awake now, and I'm taking action. The law provides remedy and relief. Fraud vitiates all contracts, and here I am correcting the record. And it is so. And you guys are my witnesses. <laughs> That's beautiful. I get to put it right here. I mean, wow, what a gift. What a gift. All right. All right. All those names together with all derivatives and permutations and punctuations and orderings of these names are not acting in any federal, territorial, or municipal capacity and have not knowingly or willingly acted in any such capacity since the day of nativity, September 3rd, 1976. All vessels are duly claimed as best we, I've been told. I wasn't, I can't, I, I don't know for sure, but 
That's what I've always been told. I trust that. All vessels are duly claimed by the holder in due course and held under published common law copyright since September 3rd, 1976. Because it's the obvious public law. You can't violate public law with your legal codes and then, you know, no. I mean, you can. And then what happens? We discover it's all over. You know, come forward now. Save your bacon if you can't, you know, save your, some of your bacon. These vessels are publishing mandatory notice in bold that they are man, uh, bold foreign sovereigns from the Washington state of the United States of America. And that was the capitalized, which is the original compact holding company that I do uh, uh, support and pledge, uh, have an affirmative pledge to support. Proud of it. This is your mandatory notice that the, these above named vessels are owned, all material rights, duties, exemptions, insurances, treaties, bonds, agreements, and guarantees, including indemnity and full faith and credit. You are also hereby provided with mandatory notice, mandatory notice, that these vessels are not subject to territorial or municipal United States law and are owed the law of peace. Yeah, because I'm a non-combatant. Department of the Army pamphlet 27-161-1. The law of peace. Never knew about this. It's amazing. I haven't finished it, but wow. From all territorial and municipal officers and employees who otherwise have no permission to approach or address them, any harm resulting from trespass upon these vessels or the use of fictitious names or titles related to them shall, shall be subject to full commercial liability and penalties, uh, such as 18 U.S.C. 2333, comma, 18 U.S.C. 1341, uh, and 18 U.S.C. 1342. So signed and sealed on this day in the spirit with my words. I've spoken on the testimony. And there's no, what's what's more powerful than a living man speaking? And here's a record. You know, I mean, later you could look at this and say, well, was he really there? Did he really sign it? Uh, but, I mean, this is a pretty hard, if, I don't, if I'm later going to come out and be like, why well, I didn't do any of that. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I think I've very clearly established the record, right? I don't know any more clear way, so I'm doing it. Yay. Uh, paramount claim of life and estate. Whereas I, the living man known as Kevin Christopher Raymond, am the result of the life and love and physical embodiment of my parents, the living man known as Michael Robert Raymond, and the living woman known as Margaret Jean Fitzpatrick. Remember, those names are copyrighted by natural law, but I'll go ahead and remind everyone. That's my the name of my mom and dad. And they're copyrighted. Uh, now, therefore, I am their living son from the moment of conception and from the first combining of my, of their unique genetic code to create my unique genetic code and my zygote in support of my physical embodiment then and now. And as I am the only true and surviving inheritor, I hereby publish my claim and recording of the facts. I'm the only one that was me. There's only one of me. And here I am. The afterbirth composed of a placenta, umbilical cord, and fetal tissues which accompanied me into this world and which was in possession of my DNA was never a viable separate living organism and it was instead a portion of my flesh akin to my hair. Thy will be done. I'm getting a loud ringing in my ears and whenever I, thy will be done, 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 thy will be done. Thank you. I will be done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will be done. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will be done. Yay. Most good. The most good. The most good. The most good. The most good. Angels and all kinds of good things. Yes. All kinds of good things. The surety of peace. May the surety of peace be there. I'm going to keep going because I've got a minute here. Yes. The afterbirth composed of the placenta, umbilical cord, and fetal tissues which accompanied me into this world and which was in possession of my DNA was never a viable separate living organism and was instead a portion of my flesh akin to any hair, skin, or other representation of my genetic content. That was not abandoned, not donated, and not returned to me or my parents for burial. No separate estate, living status, ownership, interest, or death apart from my own life may be claimed in behalf of the afterbirth or other waste resulting from my birth from my from my shedding of hair, my shedding of skin, the deposit of my fingerprints, or any other DNA-containing substance whatsoever. I hereby establish my paramount claim upon my unique DNA as the only lawful and living inheritor thereof from the moment of my conception forward. And I also publish my nullification of any claim of ownership or material interest in my DNA based upon samples procured from any bodily waste or substance for any other purpose. 